time she had been trying to sneak it out to them. Why sneak when we can force it through? Reinforced armor, heavily armed, multiple trucks, helicopter patrols, carrying $17 billion. Mira, you can't be serious. If we lose that money, it's over. But when we're killed, what happens to Valeria? There is no other way. No, Reina, we're not doing it. Ay, boquita, corazón. I'm not asking. I'm telling. And who do you expect to lead this convoy? You're the only man I trust with something this important. But what if I don't make it back? I would never let that happen. Hang on, I'll drive. Lydia, amor. I'm almost there. Listo. As long as they get their money, the investors will They won't care how the cash gets to them. If that doesn't mean this isn't crazy. There must be a better way. There is no other way. We don't have time for any other way. You know you're the only man who can pull this off. I, I know you're just buttering me up, but I like it. <laughs> Igual, te amo. Let me speak con mi niña. Papi, are you coming home? Pronto, chaparita. I have to take a trip. You be good girl and listen to your mama. Can I have a puppy? I, I want a small, brown, cute one, or maybe yellow. Nina, you can have anything you want when I get home. Papa loves you very much. Okay, bye. Adios, mija. Ahora presentando su nuevo álbum, La Cofradía de los Gallos. Los inigualables, los plomazos de mesa. Y a la venta en todas las tiendas de discos. Lo tienes que tener. Found the convoy. I count at least three heavy vehicles, one helo. We need to keep those money trucks from reaching Mexico. Just as important, we need to take out El Boquita. Killing him will destroy Sueño and Nidia's relationship. Roger that. I'm engaging takers. HBT is down. Say again, El Boquita is dead. Who did that trip? Okay, we're still 
still good. Frag out. Anything left of that wreck? Bowman, this is We're Nomad. We've taken out the money truck and El Boquita is ca- In total, she lost more than 17 billion dollars. Nidia knew she was in danger. She needed more time. She needed someone to blame. She needed to make a sacrifice. I'm so sorry, baby. For you, Mirei. But it wasn't enough. You fucked up, Mirena. I gave her a head start. Because I loved La Reina de Belleza. But in Bolivia, love doesn't get you very far. Fucking hell. Get down. Kilo's down. I've got eyes on Nidia and the daughter. We need them both alive. Valeria, get on that helicopter. Mama, no! You want to kill me, pendejo? I'm right here. None of you assholes is going to lay a hand on my daughter. We don't want to hurt you or your daughter. We want Sueño. You help us, we can protect you. Jodete, like I'm going to trust you. You don't really have a choice. Think you'll survive in the wild on your own? You know Swenya better than anyone. He won't stop till your head is lying at his feet. We are your only chance. I'm not giving up El Sueño. We'll see. Let's take your helicopter. Mama! Escondete, Valeria! Don't come any closer. Cuídenla! I got it. I'll fly. Good to go. He's a very big hombre, like uh, a monster truck. I heard he's very tall. You don't like El Jefe. I, I don't like him either. Mija, stop talking. Close your mouth. You don't like El Jefe because he tried to hurt you and your mama? No, I don't like him because he has no hair. Now, there's nothing wrong with not having hair. Maybe he can't help it. Stop talking to her. This is all a mistake. You people are gonna fuck me over the first chance you get. I suspect it's up to you. You're the cabrones who turned El Sueño against me in the first place. Our life was good before you came along. Your life was on permanent fast forward and you know it. We didn't make Sueño send people to kill you. We saved you and your daughter. Right. After you destroyed all of it. My life's work, everything I had. Well, not everything. Coming up on the RP. Oh, Carreña. Whatever happens, just remember that Mama loves you. Okay, Mama. Compass! Getting Nidia's voice to find you. I'm not going to talk. Good. I don't want you to. I want you to listen. I want to tell you a story. Long ago, there was a very beautiful princess named Nidia. And one day, Princess Nidia met a very powerful king named El Sueño. Nidia loved El Sueño. He was like the father she never had. And all Nidia ever wanted was to make him proud of her. Nidia was so afraid of letting down Sueño that she even sacrificed the love of her life. The father of her child. All so that Sueño would love her. But it wasn't enough. It was never enough. You know nothing. I know one thing. I know that once I sign this, you will be extradited to the United States and you will never, ever see that little girl again. She will go into the foster care system and in five years, she won't even remember who you are. You and I have both been there, Nidia. We both know what it's like. We both know the fucked up shit that goes on in those families. Do you really want Valeria to go through what you did? Who's it gonna be? Valeria or Sueño? I want an S visa. Witness relocation for both of us. And I want full immunity. Trato. Sweetheart, you get me Sueño? I will give you eternal life. Oh, 
around at him. My trafficking network was dismantled. No more cocaine came in. No more money went out. The drugs that remained lay there wrapped in cellophane, rotting away, becoming worthless. My men wondered where their next payout was going to come from. I had spent years building these routes. Billions of dollars in manpower, transportation, relationships, all gone. Including the beauty queen. I gave Nidia Flores everything, and she paid me back by running like a coward, instead of dying like royalty. Now she would spend the rest of her life serving the Americans. She killed her child's father for nothing. Isn't it amazing? You remove a few buchones, and the machine falls to pieces.